Sir, I was always under the impression that God will never lie. God will always tell the truth. But recently I was beginning to wonder whether Prabhuji always speaks the truth and nothing but the truth. So I was a little worried about this. When I went through his budget speech, and I thought I should start by attacking him because he did not speak all of the truth in this. But then I listened. Yes, sir. Sorry. See, those who send this now to me should know that sir, my I will not good. call any name unless all these names mm. are disposed sir, of. After that, good. if there is time, time, I have no problem. Mm. Yes. Sir, but then. In the reply to his, uh, uh, in the Lok Sabha, this is what somebody had said during the budget speech of the Lok Sabha, and I'll quote, one of the persons whom I admire the most and really love and respect is Mamta Banerjee. I am very happy there has been a consistency in thinking. I should be very happy to say that the Indian Railways are trying to take forward her ideas and the philosophy of Kumari Mamtaji. You now, who said this? Kumari quoting and... Well, I am sir. not quoting any Trinamur spokesperson. This is, I'm quoting the railway minister, Suresh Prabhuji. So at the end of it all, Prabhuji does speak the truth. This is what he said in the Lok Sabha sir, a few days ago. It's very gracious. It is very gracious of Prabhuji to give credit where it is due and actually because otherwise I was going to point out to him if he hadn't given that clarification that there was a major typographical error in his budget because he spoke about a vision 2030 document which he is going to table and discuss but I was wondering whether that was a typographical error because all of those points of the Vision 2030 document are taken from the Vision 2020 document of previous Railway Minister Mamta Banerjee. But now that Prabhuji has been very gracious to acknowledge the Vision 2020 document, I will give you a few examples of what he said was in his 2030 document and what was in the 2020 document which was done earlier by Mamtadi. Quickly, sir. 8.5 lakh crore, lakh crore investment in railways in the next five years. That was said by the minister. In the 2020, 14 lakh crore to be invested in railways in 10 years. Now again the minister. He spoke about operation five minutes in his budget speech. The vision 2020 document talks about five minutes to book a ticket in any category. Very good. So like this, there are many examples. Bio toilets, 2020 document, green toilets mentioned by the minister. The next one, high speed corridor, vision 2020, so also who, by his minister. Who copied from whom? No, obviously the 2000, obviously the, he has copied, but we don't mind he has copied. I've got no problem. Because what he has copied is from the vision 2020 document of Mamta Banerjee. I have no issue that he's copied. So you, you should support then the budget. I please. am supporting these points. <laughs> ah, professor, yes, uh, chairman sir, sorry. I am, no I am supporting these points. No problem. Uh. I am supporting the point that he has said that 6,000 kilometers would be quadrupled. This is what we said in 2020. It goes on to say, I support this, this part, sir. I am saying the only difference is now by implementing, she only talked about it. Okay. Now he said she only talked about it and we are implementing. Now, I was in a good mood all this time. <laughs> Suresh Prabhuji, now you have come and I'll give you some more numbers. I'll show you how she implemented better than you. Okay? Thank you for being here, Mr. Deputy Chairman. Very sweet of him to come. Uh, now let me make the point, which was not part of my original speech, but now I must make it. The point about who implemented better, then I'll come back. Let's look at doubling. 
Doubling last year, your predecessor did 700 kilometers. But in 2010-11, what was done was 780 kilometers, so 15% better. In new lines, last year, 300 kilometers. 2010-11, 710 kilometers. These are numbers, not my numbers. These are Indian railway numbers. Freight loading, last year grew at 5% about. In 2009-10, it grew by 6.6%. Growth in passengers, this is a shameful figure. I will not blame Suresh Prabhuji for the figure because that's why maybe they brought Suresh Prabhuji here to do the job because in 2009-2010, since you said you are doing better, here are the figures for growth in passengers. 5% in 2009-2010, you know who was the railway minister, the lady. And last year was negative growth in passenger uh, in passengers, growth in passenger originating. Right? So, if you look at the hard numbers, the railways last year did not do too well. Mr. Prabhu has, uh, Suresh ji has some dreams. I want to make four quick points before I get into specifics. My specifics. One, the railway minister did not announce any new trains on the floor of the Lok Sabha, nor did he give us too many details in this. The problem with that is we believe that we, the 800 members of parliament who represent a billion people, are the shareholders. So why not put some more details in the budget and why hide everything or share everything in the pink book? Because I don't know how many MPs have seen the pink book. Many have. But this pink book has more details than the budget. And the devil I was going to say the devil is in the detail, but then with, the, with God being the minister, I should not use that phrase. It would be inappropriate. No, but on a more serious note. So the budget is a statement of intent. But we believe the budget needs to be a statement of action. Statement of intent, good. But where is the action? Instead of addressing some basic issues, the lady was talking very nicely before this, we are talking about electronic conveniences, we are talking about some outlandish ambitions. Very good, talk about all that, but let's address the basics. And overall, no source of funding mentioned, at least not here, not here. Maybe the minister has got an idea to come up with some source of funding. Now, at Trinamool Congress, we always believe, if we want to criticize you, we'll criticize you. But before we come to criticizing you, we were going to give you some ideas for free. The problem with giving you the ideas for free is we gave one or two of these ideas to the rail minister last year. But he chose not to implement those ideas, maybe, for whatever reason, and see what happened to him. So maybe, Prabhuji, your train will go longer than one year. It will be a long distance express for at least four years. So. You are talking, this government talks a lot about reform. We will reform the system, we will reform the railways, very good. The problem is, when you give subsidies to the corporate sector, you call it reform. But when you give money to the poorer people, then you call it subsidy. If you want to, if you want to implement reform, we are giving you three or four ideas for some serious reform. You know, first is on the accounting system of the railways. The railways uses an accounting system going back to 1921. There was a British gentleman called Mr. Ackworth. So Mr. Ackworth was asked to head a committee. Mr. Ackworth came up with his recommendations. And in 1921, they worked for four years. In 1925, those Ackworth committee recommendations were announced. And after that, the first budget was announced, the first railway budget. Now. The entire system for accounting, how you calculate tickets, what are the broad heads for, for the different accounting heads, all is based on the architecture of a 95-year-old system set up by Ackworth. So if you're looking for reform, Mr. Rail Minister, please relook at the accounting system of the railways, which is based on an antiquated Ackworth committee report. You know, the second one is, again, we are, we are trying to bring you back to the focus in social responsibility 
has to be combined with financial viability. Mr. Chairman, sir, through you to the Railway Minister, we understand, we appreciate that financial viability is important, but social responsibility is extreme important. We heard a lot of talk about Duranto, Shatabdi and all the fast trains. 96% of passengers don't travel on those trains. I'm not saying don't give the 4% good service. Please, by all means, your idea of a mobile phone charger on general class, it's a good idea. But focus your efforts on the 96%. Diesel prices have come down by 25%. You've chosen not to bring the prices down. And we say a firm no to FDI in railways. Your LIC idea is a way better idea than going into FDI. Now, I spoke about passengers. Now some free ideas for uh, freight. Now, freight, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you our view on freight. Uh, you had the, the, rail, the, the uh, Nitin Gadkari ji sitting next to you. I think you've made a mention in your, in your budget speech, you've made a mention about the railways tying up a lot with aero trains and trying to merge railway and aero train. Now what has been happening? Freight in the railways has come down from 60% to something like 31%. This has been your big loss. We are telling you, please, and this is our idea, do not compete with road. You're losing out to road. You know why you're losing out to road? Because your tonnages are too big. I'll come to that point later. But the point I want to make is you have to stop competing with road and become a partner of road. Like you know, PNG is Procter and Gamble. So here it also has to be PNG, Prabhu and Gadkari. Both of you have to work together. One of the ideas which has been forgotten, it has been tested on the Konkan Railway. It's an idea called Roro. Roll on, roll off. What is the concept of roll on and roll off? Whereby the truck, the bottom rows of that wagon are actually like the wheels. So you roll on and you roll off. Message here is partner with road, otherwise you will keep losing and losing and losing more freight. The second suggestion we have is please take a look at booking smaller consignments. Today for rail, 1,000 tons, 1,500 tons, that kind of consignment, unless you look at the real, where you are really losing out is you are not allowing people to book smaller consignment because today railway wagon capacity I think is about 60 tons. So to book 600 tons, you need a, you need a minimum. Our proposal is you bring the minimum down, partner with road. If you don't, go if you don't grow freight, you will not solve this issue. So after some free ideas, which I genuinely want you to look at because you have been gracious by acknowledging, and that's good in a continuity way, acknowledging that Vision 2020 document. I'll go one further to say the Vision 2020 document has been updated, upgraded, and made Vision 3030. Now, now you come to a little bit of pain about my state. West Bengal, three years ago, was sanctioned 10,000 crores. Last year, the figure dropped to 5,000 odd crores. This year, the figure is somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000 crores. So you can imagine all those projects which are caught up. Interestingly, out of all the metro projects across the country, they are all independent projects, be it Delhi Metro or all metro, but the one metro which comes under the railways is directly the Kolkata Metro. Now for the East-West, I'll give you a few big numbers. Project cost of the East-West Metro, Mr. Minister, sir, through the Deputy Chairman, is about 5,000 crores. The project is right in the middle of, it's happening and it's in the middle of the city. You've sanctioned 500 crores, 10%. Now, if you look at the Kolkata Metro, Kolkata Metro, where Noapara and Barashat, 2,000 crore project, sir, you've given us 100 odd crores. Dum Dum, 400 crores. You've given us 50 crores. Baranagar to Barakpur. This is a lifeline project there. 1900 crores. So 80 crores. I will tell you a few more. 
then you'll actually feel that I'm, I'm giving you numbers in a very genuine way. Airport, New Gadia. 3,300 crores, we've got 240 crores. Joka, BBD Bar, 2,400 crores, we've got 70 crores. Kolkata Circular Railway, 400 crores, we've got 2 crores. So sir, these projects are all very badly stuck. We're not asking you for new projects. We are going back to your thinking which you told us in the document is clear the existing projects. Because unless you clear the ex existing projects, then it becomes very, very difficult. I'll come to the point on some workshops, factories, which are in the middle of getting ready. Just three or four examples, sir, please. In Kachrapara, there is a new rail coach factory. 840 crores is the project cost. Sir, in your pink book, that's why we got very disappointed with this pink book. You have given us 8 crores out of 838. So Bengal is, you are saying look east, but I am constrained to say, if you say look east and then give 8, eight out of 830, one out of, 100 and, 1 out of 100 crores for the Kharagpur workshop. Nayapara, 0 out of 146 crores. Dankuni, 2 crores out of 40 crores. Lilua workshop, 5 out of 96. Sir, you are saying look east, but we are beginning to wonder if this is look east or, what do I say, bluff east. So please, and I'm giving you a couple of other things. There are a few other projects which are really uh, stuck, sir. I don't want to take the precious time of this house because we have another speaker who will speak for six, seven minutes. But things like the Shambhunath Mitra Cultural Center and the Garden Reach Nursing, I would urge the Railway Minister to please look at the big picture. We're not asking for new train. We're not asking you to make two days into four days. We're not asking you for doing anything unreasonable. We are saying these are projects sanctioned in the past. Please help us to complete the projects. And this is in line, I think, with your thinking. Two small points, sir, besides all these money numbers. I can't give you a financial justification for either of the next two points, Mr. Minister, but I can give you an emotional justification, and I hope you can look at these two, not rationally, but at least emotionally. One is the Heritage Darjeeling train, which is a heritage train, beautiful train which takes you up in the hills of Darjeeling in a steam engine. Some money to keep that heritage of our great country going. And the second one is the killing of elephants, elephants which are dying on the, ra uh, on the, on the uh, did I say, uh, train track. So, should, uh, Minister, sir, through you, Deputy Chairman, we believe we have given you some suggestions on passenger and on freight. We have given you a clear suggestion on accounting. We have highlighted all the projects in your thinking without starting new projects, pumping some money in Bengal. And if you would like a more detailed discussion, I want to thank the minister for giving us some time tomorrow or day after to sit on these projects. Prabhuji, my suggestions have not only come to you from a member of an opposition party or a member of the Trinamool Congress or a member of a party who've had a few railway ministers in the past. This has come to you from a child of the railways because my mother's side of my family, my grandfather, worked in the railways for many years. My mother has seven brothers. Five of them till recently worked in the railways. They're now retired. My two generations have all worked on the railways, on the, uh, which was the BNR, now the Southeastern Railway. My community, the Anglo-Indian community, have a great tradition of the railways. So I have the Indian Railways, and Mamta Ji gave me the opportunity to be the chairman of the Passenger Services Committee for two, three years when she was minister. So I passionately feel about the railways. I hope you will take the suggestions in that spirit, in the way it has come. We've thought this through. We've shared with you. Now, please help Bengal. Thank you so much. Thank you.